Hello friends and welcome back to Android Play Store App Stars. If you like me, uh, you need to get, catch up on reading, especially the Holy Bible scriptures. Uh, this is a great app right here. It's uh, actually the, uh, let me go back to the beginning of it. This is the uh, Bible Offline. It's one of my favorite um, Bible apps. I've, I've downloaded quite a few <coughs> Bible apps. This is this is one that I, that I use it. I have downloaded both of my phone and my tablet, and I use this one quite a bit. Uh, this one you can um, use offline. I have to be online right now. I'm gonna just, but I'm gonna show you some of the some of the features that uh, that you use that's only for the online. Well, and for this is this particular um, version, you have, uh, of course, you want to if you want to search for a scripture, you know, you can hit the up top. I mean, let me go back. If you want to search for scriptures, you hit right here in the middle, and uh, you can search for the uh, the the, uh, the book of the, the scripture. I mean, the book of the Bible. Um, and if you know the chapter you want to look in, you know you hit the chapter and start it in what verse you wanted to start it. Okay, and this one also has the uh, the voice, so you can listen to it. If you if you're busy, you can still have the Bible playing in the background. Uh, this one you have to download the audio file first and listen and then listen to it. Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to his building. Do you see all these things? He asked. Yes, yes. Truly, I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on them, as you can hear, it's, it was it's very. It's not just a, uh, just a reading. It's kind of an interactive. Uh, you can hear the, uh, the the little sound effects and and the voice and the voiceovers is pretty good too. Um, I recommend this one, but you don't if you just want to just read it yourself without that. Uh, this is also very good. Um, this is a very good app. Now, what I like about this the best is I don't always have a, a, um, access to data. I don't always have access to Wi-Fi. So, if I don't, if I'm not if I'm not at home or I don't have my data on, I can still read it. And that's what, that's the thing about a lot of other Bible apps that you to, to fully optimize it, you have to have to have it online. But but this one right here, it, has, it does a decent job of finding that the, the apps. I mean, finding the scriptures that you need and able to actually read them without being online. And so you you can you can if you don't want, if you don't if you don't you won't have access to the to actual voice, but you can read them and you and you, you can you can uh, like I say I use this a lot in church too. Also, you can. Uh, Highlight things. Let's, let me see if I can find a highlighter pen. Uh, so if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, search for, I mean, if you want to remember something and you want to highlight it, there's a way to do this. Um, let me see where is exactly is it. Okay, bookmarks. So you want? I think this is it right here. Say I want to have. Um, I like the yellow one. And mark. Cause the click it first. Okay, let me go back. All right. So now, if I wanted to highlight this, I just click on it, and I choose a color, and there, there it is highlighted. There it is highlighted, and it actually saves to my notes here. And I go to my notes, 
or bookmarks rather, and there is in my bookmarks. So I can always go back and find it later on. That's that's an important feature that this one this one has. Uh, the daily devotionals. Uh, you can find it here, or also there's a widget. Let me get out of here. That you uh, it's it's a widget that you can put uh, on your home page right here, and it'll take you to show you to the scripture of the day right there. And if you click on it, you can read the whole. Um, it's, it's you can you can read the you can read it better you can read it better, and then you can actually go to the to the to the. Uh, to, to, you can read the whole thing if you want to. Uh, you just scroll up and, and just start reading the, reading the whole thing. So, um, let me go back. Another thing you want to do if one another thing um, that you can do, uh, you if you if you want to find a particular version, now you have to you have to be online to do this one. It has different versions. Uh, you want to. This one happens to be the English New International version, but if you want to, if you want to uh, uh, change it to another one, uh, say the the Young's Literal Translation, you can download it. But they have to be online to this one. And also, they have different languages, and they have, as I said, there's, if there's no reason for anybody not to have this, and because you can find it in any, any language that's, that's spoken, uh, so it's it's. A, it's a great tool to have, and most people use their phones anywhere, uh, most of, most of the time anyway. So there's no reason not to have this uh, this app and to use it. Also, a dictionary here, if you want to find uh, the meaning of of certain words, um, say you want to know what the meaning of the a talent is. This spoken over the battle. You hit the T, and then you scroll down, and and it's basically a weight and measure, and it uh, you can use this 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 one right here to find it. It's common words that's in the uh, that's in the Bible. That's and maybe you, need, you didn't know what the uh, what the meaning of it was. You can find a lot of information in here about this. Um, I said I think I told you. Oh, the map here. You might have to have this online to do this one. Oh, uh, this is pretty much like the. Uh, yeah, you probably have to have it, do it. Probably do, do a better job if it was online. This uses like the maps that you see in the Bible in the back of your Bible. Uh, let me turn. Let me turn my my data on. You probably you'll probably do a much better job of seeing the the actual map. This you know this one you have the Paul's missionary journeys, and it, of course it'll be on Google Map. Um, yeah, there we go. Now that makes a whole lot more sense. You see, you can see the the exact uh, track of the missionary journey. You probably, most people have probably seen this in the back of the Bible. It's just a, a digital version of it. So this is this is a a great a great app to have, and I, I highly recommend it. And so, um, if you uh, if you like this app, just uh, uh, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more from my channel, just hit subscribe button. We always uh, feature new new apps. So thank you very much for watching and we'll see you later.